This one gives me mixed feelings, and I'm going to tell you why uh, in a bit. So Coinbase is helping corporate companies diversify with crypto. So MicroStrategy, uh, if you've been, if you're not, if you're new to this this area, just know that MicroStrategy it is a data analytics firm located in California, and they purchased 425 million dollars worth of um, Bitcoin in August, I believe it was, and it's now worth like 650 million. So they look like geniuses, and the whole speculation was like, how do they buy so much Bitcoin? without moving the price. Because if you buy 425 million in one shot, obviously it'll go to the moon, right? It'll, well, not moon, but it'll pretty go up pretty high. But it didn't move over this this whole time uh, or during, during that time. So what the heck happened? Well, now we know it was Coinbase. So Coinbase states in this little uh, blog post, we're excited to announce that Coinbase was selected as the primary execution partner for MicroStrategy's 425 million purchase of Bitcoin earlier this year. Using our advanced execution capabilities, leading crypto prime brokerage platform and OTC desk, we were able to buy a significant amount of Bitcoin on behalf of MicroStrategy and did so without moving the market. So great job for you guys. MicroStrategy chose Coinbase because of our market leading tools, include smart order routing and advanced algorithms, as well as our white glove sales and trading services. Our system takes a single large order and breaks into small pieces that are executed across multiple trading venues. This type of smart order routing minimizes the trade's market impact and helps disguise the overall trade size. So where do I begin? So let me just say this. Um, I own businesses and I applaud any business that is looking to gain an edge and to use all the resources that is available to them legally to gain a strong foothold in a market or to reduce costs. Good for you. Happy for you. And I will not take anything from away from MicroStrategy. They are really one of the catalysts for other uh, businesses getting into this space. So congratulations. And Coinbase, I can't even blame them because they were presented with an opportunity to partner with a pretty big company and they took it and they executed uh, flawlessly. And I have no problem with, with either of those. I, I really don't. It's just that when I see other things going on in the background, when I see massive outages happening again and again and again, when I see a report like this where Coinbase reports more delays in processing withdrawals due to network congestion, when I hear about the stories about people who either direct message me on Twitter, or they put in the comment section about, hey, I'm having problems with Coinbase. I can't get anything. The, coin, the uh, customer service is awful. I've been waiting three to four weeks for a response. That's unacceptable. And just between us, no one's watching. No one's listening. It's okay. It's just me and you. I've talked to some CEOs of other organizations that are in the cryptocurrency space. And I will just say this, that they've all told me the same thing. Look, Coinbase has moved on. They are not here for retail. I don't know why you guys don't get it. Uh, they are here for institutions. And that's just the truth. So, I mean, obviously, I didn't say it exactly like that. I'm just putting in my own little spice. But uh, that's really what's going on. So for retail investors, I just don't think that Coinbase, uh, there's a place for us. I think uh, if you're just coming in, sure. But I think there's probably better places to go. And then if you're stuck in New York and it's the only game in town, hey, it's the only game in town. But I'm just telling you that if you're outside of that, especially if you're outside America, there's a lot better place to go. And that leads me to my last point, which is I'm not going to recommend anybody to use Coinbase or Coinbase Pro on the exchange of wallet fees. Uh, I can say that it could be a last resort if you have nothing else going on and like everything has you know totally collapsed. Sure, use Coinbase because that's the only game in town. But uh, this, you can find a link in every one of the description of every one of my videos, but there's some much better options. And one of those I personally like is Voyager. Voyager is great because there will be no exchange downtimes because they're a brokerage. They work with a plethora of different exchanges and uh, to get you, first of all, one of the best prices. Second of all, uh, is if one goes down, who cares? They got another 10 to work with. So uh, that's why I use Voyager all the time. Now, just to be transparent, just so you know, all these are affiliate links up here. So if you wanna sign up for Voyager, you get 25 for you, 25 for me. Uh, Celsius, 20 for you, 20 for me, and then off you go for all of them. And there's some that I just don't recommend, like eToro. Uh, I won't get into that, I just don't recommend them, I don't like them, and uh, I don't like what they're doing. So with Voyager also, uh, I think it's only like 40% or 60% of the cryptos you can take off of their, their app. 
and the other 40% are not able to be taken off. And that's a problem. And I've talked to Steve a couple of times about this. He's been on the show. He says they're working very diligently. And they did get uh, Cardano just a couple of weeks ago to be able to be taken off that platform. So you can buy Cardano and you can transfer it to any wallet that you want to. So um, there's better options. And uh, that's just where I stand right now. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on to our last piece.